Okay guys, I had zero intentions of making this video, but my mind is blown right now. So I set up the camera and I'm just gonna hit record. So I just discovered you can create unlimited websites with Cursor, GitHub, and Cloudflare. Deploy them in like 20 minutes. Scratch that, deploy them in like five minutes using AI and just scale unlimited. Like. This is insane to me. I'm going to I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I, you can build a rank and rent website basically just like uh let's say, you know, a fencing company or a roofing company or a pool cleaning company, just like building websites for local SEO and seeing if you can get traffic for them. So you're going to need GitHub here in a second. We're going to create a new project with Cursor. Uh, basically all you have to do here is go to Finder, create a new folder, file new folder and let's just name this uh youtube rank and rent okay so you're good there let's go over to open projects we're just going to open that file that we just um, started so now you have your project ready to go here you're ready to ready to start vibe coding um, next we're actually going to give instructions with text so i wrote out instructions here shout out Jackie from Indexy, he gave me the sauce here. This is this is insane. So I want you to create a simple rank and rent website in simple HTML and CSS. Only three pages, including homepage, about page, contact page. Homepage should target. I'm gonna do Wilmington NC Roofing because I own a domain already that's like WilmingtonNCRoofing.com. Uh, the about page should be about uh, Wilmington NC Roofing. And then I'm gonna embed a Google form on the contact page basically so that um, people can can contact me and, and Google Forms is completely free. So that's why I'm gonna use that. Uh, use 500, page, 500 words on the homepage. And here's a list of keywords I need you to use in the website. Now, I'm gonna go over to WriteSonic. You can use any type of tool that you want, but this one's uh, pretty good for something like this. So I'm gonna say Wilmington NC Roofing. Identify keywords, search volume 1900, difficulty 18. Okay, that's done loading. So now I'm just gonna download all of these keywords. I'm gonna put those into a Google Sheet, import, upload, drag that file here, replace spreadsheet. Okay, so now I have all of my roofing keywords. Now it has a lot of different like actual names of roofing companies here. So like, I kind of want to take out all of these ones because these are actually other companies. I don't really want to rank for other companies right now. Delete rows, let's get rid of this one. Okay, this looks, this looks fine to me. So I'm just gonna grab all of these keywords. There is 121. I'm gonna drop that in my instructions here. So now it has all those keywords that I want it to target. And then the last thing I need here is just, I'm gonna do my Google form. So uh, get a free estimate. I'm gonna ask for their name required, ask for their email required, and then phone number. And I'm gonna make that required. Uh, okay, so we're gonna publish this publish so that anyone can view it and then set it, uh, where do we embed HTML? I'm just going to grab the HTML here so that it can use that, uh, contact, use this embed. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to download this as a TXT file. And then once we have that downloaded, we're going to drop that into our Okay, now that we have that downloaded, the TXT file, we're just gonna drop that TXT file into our folder for our actual website. Okay, so we're in cursor. We have our instructions in here and let's just go ahead and say, please build me a rank and rent website using the instructions I gave you in the TXT file and let's let it read it. I hope you build a rank and rent website. First, let's take a look at the text file. Now let's read the instructions. Let's check if there's any existing files. Now I'll create the rank and rent website. Okay, so it's off to the races here. It's gonna start generating all the code for me. Hopefully it just one shots this and we don't have to do anything else, but I'm gonna hit pause on this because I think it's gonna take like two minutes to, to actually do this. So I'll see you in a second. 
All right, that took about two minutes, but as you can see, it created the entire site for me. So it has all the HTML, the contact about, it has the CSS for the styling. So we're good to go now. The only thing that I do want in here is I'll just, uh, I'll go over to Canva and then let's just add a picture of like a roof to make it a little more legit, I guess. So I'm just gonna take out all this, take out all this. Let's say roof. And sure, this looks good. Let's just create that. And then it's gonna make us uh, put something else on the page because you can't just have one image on the page. So now let's go ahead and download this. PNG, that works. Actually, let's uh, decrease the size a little bit here so it's not really big. Okay, we're good there. Let's go to Finder. Let's drop that picture in our um, in our website folder here. Now, when we go back to Cursor, now we can see that this is in our folder. Let's drag that into Images. Are you sure you want to move? Move? Yes. Okay. Can you see the new image I gave you? If so, can you use that on the home page? I don't see any new image that you provided in your message. There are no image files attached to your current. Uh, I dropped it in the images file in the folder. Look there. Let me check. I should have gave it its title. Yeah, there, found it. Black and white modern woman entrepreneur. It's because I used like a uh, a template within Canva. So it's going to update the homepage for me. Accept all. Now let's update the CSS. And while this is working, so it looks like it's almost done, let's uh, get started on our GitHub. So basically, you just need a GitHub account. Go to repositories here. You can see I already have some repositories. And then we're just going to create a new one. I'm gonna create this and say Wilmington Roofs. Name this whatever you want. I'm gonna make this private and yeah, we're off to the races here. So now you have your repository. This is where you're gonna upload all of your code. So it's like basically like the file that you're gonna keep all of your code in. And we'll go ahead and just grab the URL of this. And then we can just come over to cursor and say, okay, so it's all done here, accept all this. Can you commit and push to this Git? Give it the link to that, and then it's automatically just going to commit and push that to your GitHub for you. So it's gonna upload all that code, so it's basically in the cloud, and you can deploy it wherever you want. Okay, Git is installed, now let's initialize. Run command, run command. <laughs> I think half of vibe coding is just saying yes, accept, accept, accept. Okay, great. It's a great success, as I do say myself. Now, we're good to push this to, to Cloudflare. So you just go to Cloudflare, create a free account. You'll jump up here, and then under Workers and Pages, you're gonna go to Workers and Pages. From here, you're gonna connect your GitHub account. Uh, so we want Pages here, and then connect to Git, so you'll connect to your GitHub. You'll essentially just like log in. As you can see, our already logged in here, and then we're gonna choose Wilmington Roofs where we just uploaded all of that code. And then we're gonna leave all of this blank, say save and deploy. Now it's deploying site, initializing build environment. So this is like super simple code because it's just HTML and CSS. So it's just pages, essentially. They're just like static pages rather than like moving applications. The only thing that's not static in there is the Google form that we gave it so that basically people can um, submit to us and we don't have to uh, like have them email us. So it's fully deployed right now. It takes a second. So this is where it's gonna be live here in a sec. Um, the other thing that you can do is, I'm gonna duplicate this. So you can use your own custom domain on this for free, which is incredible. But 
Yeah, so you go to a account home, you're gonna add a domain. I already added one for roofing, but I'm just gonna show you how you do it. So you basically just put in like Wilmington roof, I'm gonna spell this wrong, uh, rude, continue, dot com, continue. And then it's gonna give you instructions to port this over. So like I buy all my domains on Namecheap, but you can basically change all the DNS over to Cloudflare. So you don't need any of this. You're just gonna do free, continue, and then on this page, it should give you instructions on how to actually set up your domain so that uh, it ports over to continue to activation, uh, add DNS records later. So you're just going to go into Namecheap and basically change your name servers to this. So copy the code, copy the code, change that over, click continue, and then it's automatically gonna do everything for you. So I just did that with Wilmington NC, just did that with this one right here. So it takes probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes for it to fully go live, but now we're all set with this domain. So now we can just go back to uh, the site that we just deployed, add custom domain, uh, set up custom domain. Let's go back to, here we go. Continue. Activate domain, so it's gonna automatically add those new DNS records for you. Initializing, verifying. Okay, so it'll take a second to verify here and go live. Okay, let's go ahead and check if this is working. <laughs> Come on now, what was that? Five, 10 minutes and this is completely live. Check this out, it has a button there to the contact page uh, it gave like false information here, but we can just go ahead and go ask cursor to, uh, to set that up. But look, we have our free estimate form with a submit our services absolutely juiced with keywords. I mean, look at this, you go to home juiced with keywords, metal roofing, asphalt roofing, like, oh my gosh, even as like what our customers are saying, Wilmington homeowner, this roofing contractor, oh my gosh about let's see what it said about okay the image is failing there so we can just go in and ask it actually we sh what we should do is we should go back into that file drop a picture of like ourselves going like hey we're the roofing contractors or just some random stock photo you get online drop that in there but i mean come on 10 minutes and i now own wilmington nc roofers like come on now this is incredible. Next step, I would just go add this site to Google Search Console, uh, tell Google to index it, and I mean, start collecting leads. Like, why would you not do this? Like, this is risk-free, takes 10 minutes, update this contact information to your actual contact information. It's too easy, it's too easy. So anyway, if you like this, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. As always, I appreciate you and peace.